straight up by now you would think i would know how to create an intro for this stuff but like Roller clip. What's up losers and welcome back for another video whatever let's just get right into it so if you read the title you already know what this is gonna be this is gonna be me giving my two cents on brandy eels ew that's ugly um if you haven't clicked off already god bless you i just wanted to talk about something really quick um brand deals what's your opinion on them because i have a few things to say if you're not familiar with like exactly what a brand deal is specifically in the youtube space a brand deal is something that you get when you are like really really popping as a youtuber or as an influencer and you get to go on brand trips you get these really cool incentives from different brands including brand trips and really today specifically we want to talk about brand trips when you are really popping as an influencer as i said you get hooked up with these brands and a lot of times what they will do is they will put together a little group of uh, influencers youtubers and send them on these really nice trips well this was really a big thing like a few years ago and now it's not happening as much it still happens but like <sighs> not really and i kind of feel like i feel like brands themselves kind of ruined what great of an incentive the brand trip was for both the influencer and for the company but honestly i think that influencers have played a role in kind of ruining this for other influencers as well here's why i think this one of the things that kind of ruined brand trips is that influencers kind of got to the point where they're like hey I'm going on these trips for free. I'm doing a lot of work to promote your company because the thing is you get to go on these trips for free in exchange for making a bunch of content, videos, posting on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, talking about the company. Sends you on these great trips, give you these great gifts, right? So influencers kind of were like, you know what? This is a lot of work even for a free trip. I should be getting paid so when you have the top influencer saying well I'm not gonna go unless you're gonna cut a check because my time is money and money is time baby you know what I'm saying and so what happened was brands were like oh okay that's fine you want to check next in line so yeah nobody wants to work for free you should definitely know your value and I do believe in knowing how to negotiate yourself and getting the money that you deserve nobody wants to work for free you know what i'm saying but at the same time you need to remember whatever you won't do as an influencer better believe there is a hundred thousand other influencers waiting in line to do what you don't want to do for free and they're going to do it for free now i'm not saying that people should work for free hear me out yes you need to know your worth know your worth okay some of these influencers want to get on here and they want to negotiate james charles money <laughs> baby you're not James Charles, okay? You gotta understand, okay, am I gonna take this opportunity and maybe make a little less money or no money, but in exchange get the exposure? And maybe later on, that exposure that you get doing this brand deal will lead to more checks down the road, okay? Also, as an influencer, if you feel like, no, I know what I'm worth, I want to be paid or I want to be paid more, and the company decides, hey, well, we that's not what we want to do, you need to be prepared to hear no. Don't be bitching and complaining because you're like, no, I want this amount of money. And the brand was like, okay, bye, bitch. Okay, so there's that. Another thing that I kind of feel like ruined this whole why brands don't really do these brand trip things anymore is because... The influencers want to complain. You could tell the influencers who have a little bit of a background, maybe some education as far as like business and behind the scenes stuff, uh, marketing, that gets got a little education versus the ones who just kind of, who just became influencers and they just really had no idea about behind the scenes stuff. What you have to understand is yes, they are sending you on these free trips and they may be expecting a lot of you and to be making videos every day that you're on these trips and blah, 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 blah. But this is a business transaction. Some of these influencers feel like 
oh, well, I should be going on these trips and having fun. And even though they say, I know I'm not just on this trip for fun, baby, look, I don't understand. Like, how hard is it to make a video? And I know people are like, well, Chanel, it takes a really long time to come up with content. And then they have us doing stuff all day. When are we supposed to find time between dinners and jet skiing to make videos and take Instagram pictures? Baby, I'm not trying to hear all that. Okay, yeah, it's stressful to make a video. Yeah, it's hard to make a particular Instagram post. But you know what? You set the expectations and what you want your video to be. Baby, nobody's asking you to do a whole production. And of course, look, I'm not in that space, so I'm sure it's different when you're actually in it. But let me tell you something. If somebody's offering me to go to Fiji, if somebody's offering me to go to Alaska or Europe or anywhere for, for free in exchange for some videos, oh, baby, I can sit down and do some get ready with me. You know what I'm saying? Will they be the best videos that I've ever made ever on my channel? Will they be the best pictures that I ever took on my Instagram? Shit, maybe not. But what does the contract say? You asked me to make three videos, seven Instagram posts, and three Snapchats? Okay, I'm going to give them to you. You get what I'm saying? Now, am I saying that I'm going to have? No, I'm not saying that. I'm still going to give it what I got. But if you don't like the numbers that it's bringing in, you as a company can look at it and say, hmm, maybe we are spreading them a little too thin. Let's plan a little less events and give them a little more time to create better content. Look, I know I'm bashing on the influencers, but let's flip it to the company and the brands for just a second. If you are expecting these people to get out all this content and you have them booked from morning to, to, to dawn with things to do, maybe provide editors to them. I'm not saying that they don't. I'm just saying... Give them editors so they don't have to spend so much time editing. Make sure that they have maybe a cameraman or a photographer or something that can maybe help get the content out faster and they can still participate in all the events if they're required to participate in all of the events. I'm all over the place. Stay with me. Well, to go back to the influencer though, those influencers who have a little bit of background about how business works knows that it's a job. You're always talking about this is a job, this is a job. It is a job. Therefore, you should be there, yeah, to enjoy yourself, but don't complain about having to do work. Nothing comes for free. Nothing. Nothing. The only thing that you get free in life is a love, and most of the time, that's just the love between you and God. <laughs> okay, can I get it? Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Shall be. I don't want this video to be extremely long. All I'm saying is, is that the main idea of this video is that influencers, top influencers, have kind of made it hard for brands to create these incentives for the influencer because now it's made everything more complicated okay you as an influencer are telling other influencers demand this demand that not everybody is a manny mua not everybody is a gabriel zamor a laura lee or you know a jackie anna know your value but also know you might not be there yet and therefore, sometimes maybe taking just a little bit less money or no money at all might be worth it in the long run. Last and finally, the thing that I think kind of ruined brand trips is safety. Some of you influencers have gone on these trips, go on these trips, and y'all want to act a plum fool. Y'all want to act a plum fool. Y'all want to get blackout drunk. Y'all want to do all this illegal activity. Y'all want to do the most. You're a liability. Only so much can go wrong on these brand trips before these brands are like, you know what? This is more of a liability than it is actually helping promote our company and the same for y'all when you have your brand representatives mingling with the influencers and basically what it is is like the companies will hire people specifically to just hang out and mingle with the influencers to make sure everyone's having a good time and it's essentially like an a and r person is to the music industry these brand representatives make sure they're representing your brand in a way that you actually want to be represented like i get that it's their job to make sure everyone's having fun but let's not make sure that they're not also getting blacked out drunk with the influencers like there's got to be a line you want to make sure everybody's having fun but everybody needs to be safe and professional people are not seeing it for what it is it's a business transaction it's a business deal i know i'm being repetitive but i don't think y'all hear me where are the amens <laughs>
Thank you. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, also like, share, comment, subscribe, like bye. Uh -huh. Let's so much vibes. But they're investing money in you in place of that traditional marketing. Y'all get what I'm saying?